Hello guys, welcome to another video on all car news, and we actually have another interesting video today sent by a follower who's letting us use this video, and they were just driving around, and they actually spotted a, what looked appear to be like a Grand Wagoneer or Wagoneer out testing. Now, this was really odd because the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are already on sale, so he was like, well, what exactly is this, and why is it still completely wrapped in camouflage? So... Thank to you guys in the comment section on Instagram and on Twitter. Um, we figured out what this concept, well, not concept, this um, spy shot was, and let's dive into it right now. So as we have right now, the Wagoneer and the Grand Wagoneer come in one size. They're yeah, sure they're different with luxury trims and kind of appearances in the exterior with different grills and different headlights and, and so on, but they only come in one size. Now their main rivals include the Escalade, the Lincoln Navigator, and if you want to kind of throw a long shot out there, the Range Rover. Now the Range Rover may not be a body on frame kind of big massive SUV, but in kind of Jeep's head when they were designing these cars, they, they kind of wanted it to target Range Rover customers, but I'm not really sure if that's really going to be an applicable thing here. But for this kind of comparison, we really need to focus on the Escalade and the Navigator. Now, the Escalade and the Navigator, as we all know, come in a regular kind of size, and they also come in an extended wheelbase size. And currently, the Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer come in one size. But this one that we've just, one of my followers has just spied, seems to be the a long wheelbase version that's apparently coming. Now we did hear that there should be a long wheelbase version coming in the future and kind of coming in general and this appears to be it. Now you might be saying at first how could this possibly be it? How would you even know? It's a pretty quick video. So one of my followers was saying is if you slow down the video you can actually see in the rear end that the glass and the whole kind of rear end is stretched out a little bit compared to a regular um, Grand Wagoneer or Wagoneer. So I did just that. I took a current picture of a Wagoneer Grand Wagoneer, slapped it onto the side of a screenshot of kind of like that stopped frame, and you can see that it is actually longer. So yes, this is going to be, what well, appears to be what we've seen right now, a testing version of a long wheelbase version of the Wagoneer slash Grand Wagoneer. So how long is it really going to have to be and how long can we expect it to be? So if you look at the dimensions of the competitors, so the Escalade and the Navigator right now in comparison to the Wagoneer, the kind of shorter wheelbase versions are all around the same size. If you look at the Wagoneer, so it's 215 inches long, 84 inches wide, 76 inches tall, and 123 inch long wheelbase. I found it fun to put these all in feet because <laughs> they're huge. So it's 18 feet long seven feet wide, 6.3 feet um, tall, and 10.25 feet um, long wheelbase. Now, if you can look at that in comparison to the Escalade, it's not that different. It's a little bit bigger in each of the dimensions, but only by an inch or two. So if you look at the dimensions of the short wheelbase Escalade, it's 212 inches long, 81 inches um, wide, and 77 inches tall with 120 inch wheelbase. Looking at the Navigator, similar thing. The Navigator is actually the smallest one only by a few inches. So it's 210 inches long, 80 inches wide, and 76 inches tall with 122.5 inch wheelbase. Now, if you look at the long wheelbase versions of the Navigator and the Escalade, you can see where that extra kind of width is coming in. So they definitely are longer for sure. And if you look at the Escalade specifically, the, so I think it's called the Escalade Extended Wheelbase. Um, this was getting up to 227 inches long. And of course, the width and the height remain the same, but the wheelbase does increase up to 134.1 inches for the Escalade. Now, going to the Navigator, now we see it increase to 222 inches long, right? And the wheelbase is increasing to 131.6 inches. Now, it seems that the Navigator is the shortest one out of all of them so far, and that the Escalade is the mid one. The regular Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer are already bigger than the short wheelbase versions of the Escalade and the Navigator, short only by like two or three inches. So I'm kind of curious to see how big the long wheelbase um, Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer is probably going to be called the L. That seems to be what Jeeps is going with this. How big this is actually going to be. I mean, are we expecting it to see something like, I don't know, 230 inch long in overall length? And... I don't even know what the wheelbase could possibly be. Is it going to be like 135 inches, 136 inch long wheelbase? Or is we really need to see what's going to be happening there. Um, I think this is going to be really curious to see the full on width because they are already really big vehicles. They're heavy vehicles as well. And um, the fuel economy is just abysmal. <laughs> I saw um, one reviewer was able to get 
I think around 20 miles a gallon, which I thought was pretty impressive for a Wagoneer. But uh, uh, some other ones are just down in the teens. And if you're really pushing it and you're towing, which these vehicles are able to tow as they are body on frame, um, truck based vehicles, um, you can tow and you're looking at the single digits. Or even if you're stepping on it a little bit hard, um, you're looking at single digit fuel economy. But people who are buying this generally don't really care about that figure at all. They just kind of want the giant size, they want the status of the vehicle, and they want just the insanity of it. Um, and I'm sure this is going to offer all of that now we're also going to have to be thinking about pricing here as well i'm going to put the pricing out for the escalade and the navigator right below but the wagoneers and the grand wagoneer are already pretty expensive vehicles and even without this extended wheelbase we're already looking at them at least in the grand wagoneer specification getting over a hundred thousand dollars now i'm not even sure what the L version is even going to start at, it's probably going to be costing or probably in the $90,000 range just to start at and then jumping up from there. I'm not sure how much of a premium they're going to charge for that extended wheelbase as well. It could even possibly even be offered only in the higher trims. I'm not really sure what they're thinking about doing for that as well. Um, this is just a lot of speculation and towards when this is going to be coming out. And I don't think it's going to be coming out that later in the future, probably closer, um, maybe later this year. Um, as the Wagoneer has already been fully unveiled. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on this video. Let me know what you guys think about it. And let me know what's going to be, what you guys think about the upcoming kind of new um, Stellantis GME T6 um, straight six powertrain that's coming out. We did a, a video about that earlier and talked about a little, that a little bit. Will we see that in the Wagoneer at all? Or is that really going to be focused on those smaller vehicles? Thank you again for watching and stay tuned for a lot more videos and content coming soon from All Car News.